Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a very late 2017 favorites. I wrote out a list of just a couple of things that I was really obsessed with in 2017. Um, I don't want to do too much stuff, um, so I'm just going to stick to everything that is in here. Kind of sticking with the basics. Okay, so I kind of want to start with the foundation first. So we're going to do primer, foundation, concealer, and a powder. So for a primer, I have the Farsali Unicorn Essence. This came into my life a little bit later in 2017, but it is really amazing. I finished up this whole mini bottle and I did repurchase it. There isn't a ton left, but you can still see a little bit of the pink. I just kind of want to give you an idea of what the liquid looks like. It's a really pretty uh, pink sparkly uh, serum that I love to put on before my foundation. It's really, really nice as a primer. Skin, it says it's a skin enhancing antioxidant serum, but it leaves a little bit of a tacky surface and foundation just glides over top of it and it looks so nice. So I've really been enjoying this and it smells really yummy as well, kind of like cotton candy, bubble gum, that kind of thing. Okay, two foundations that I was loving. Obviously, Need I say more about this? The Milani, what is it? Conceal and Perfect. My number one ride or die foundation. Love it so much. And then this took the world by storm. This is the Fenty Beauty Foundation. I don't think it has an official name, but this stuff is freaking amazing. And this color is, oh, this, sorry, it's the Pro Filter Soft Matte longwear foundation and this is in 190 so this is a really good shade for me when um, I'm a little bit self tanned I love this stuff so much it gives a really nice matte finish to the face but doesn't look super heavy and on me it lasted a really long time for concealer I was obsessed with the Milani retouch and erase light lifting concealer this one is number two and i use number one i use number one when i'm my palest and number two when i am self tan it's a little squeezy tube with a little puff on top not the best packaging as you can see it gets pretty messy but i love the concealer um it does tend to crease a little bit but for me there is no concealer that doesn't crease i have um somewhat intense uh, wrinkles under my eyes and on the sides because I've always been a squinter so usually when you're my age 24 years old you don't really have those so I can't personally tell you if you're a normal person if this creases or not it does on me but I have tricks to fix that just kind of blot the area up powder right away it lasts really nicely and I think it has a great medium coverage for powder, which also coincides with my concealer choice, is the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. This is the only powder by Laura Mercier that I have used so far. I have a little jar of her regular translucent powder. But the powder that I used all of 2017 is by Fiona Styles, and they no longer sell that makeup line, so I didn't really want to share it with you. So I picked this one. This is a great under eye powder. It's really light and airy and just a really fine powder. It makes your under eyes look so good and it helps set concealer really nicely. Two things that I want to mention that I don't have here in front of me because unfortunately I left them at my desk at work. It's the NYX Brow Pencil in Ash Brown. Such a good brow pencil with a spoolie on the end. I think it's super comparable to the Anastasia Beverly Hills one. Um, works just as well for me and the color is perfect for my eyebrows. And then to top it off, I use the NYX Brow Gel. I think it's called Control Freak. I think so. It's in a white tube. It's really, really nice. Also super comparable to the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. Super affordable options and they are great. Okay, so next part of what I do on my daily routine is bronzer, blush, and highlighter. So for bronzer, this is another item that came later in 2017, but it's definitely worth the mention. It's the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. This middle bronzer right here is absolutely perfect for me, and if I am a lot more tan than normal, I can also add a little bit of this darker one in. 
I haven't really been doing contouring lately, so I can't really vouch for this contour shade, but I just really have been loving using this bronzer shade. And I haven't really been using the highlight shades either, so I can't really speak on those, but bronzing is where it's at. My favorite blush for 2017 is a drugstore blush. It's by Essence, and it's their Satin Touch Blush in the color 20 Satin Love. So this is a beautiful um, kind of neutral toned um, highlighter. It is so silky smooth. It just looks fantastic on the cheeks. This is really great for everyday wear or if you're doing a really bold eye or lip, it's just perfect. And it's just so silky smooth, blends in real nice. Love it so much. Next up is highlighter, everybody's favorite thing. And this is something that took my life by storm. I was so obsessed with it. I still am very obsessed with it. It's probably um, the highlighters that I've gotten the most compliments on in my entire life. This is the Anastasia um, Glow Kit by Nicole Guerrero. Guys, if you don't have this, you are missing out. This is a perfect array of highlighters. You have so many different colors in here that go so well with all different skin tones. My favorite by far is Forever Young. This beautiful, beautiful shade. It's a beigey pink shade that isn't too light or isn't too dark. It's so perfect and so beautiful. I get so many compliments all the time whenever I wear this. It's really truly a gem and it will be forever in my collection. But I do love that this has a nice array of colors for every kind of person there is. You have um, your lighter shades right here, especially this color. Sorry, I'm looking down my viewfinder. You have super dark over here and then you have medium. And you can always mix all these together to make whatever shade you like, no matter what skin tone you are. This is everything. I have four lip products to share with you. And the first one I will show you is what's on my lips right now. It is the Lip Liner by Ofra in Silk. I've talked about this on my channel before. It's been in one or two favorites videos. It's like one of my perfect nude colors. It is so gorgeous, really easy to wear, just put it all over my lip, blend it in a little bit. Sometimes I like to throw a gloss on when I want more of um, a silkier feel to it because it is matte since it is a lip liner, but it is just gorge. Another perfect nude that I have, which is my favorite lipstick of 2017. This is by Bite Beauty and it's their high pigment lip pencil in Madeira. Madeira, Madeira, I don't know. Whatever. We have gone through this a couple of times. This has also been in some of my favorites. As you can see, I really like this, so I really have to scroll it up. There we go. It is flat now. It used to be like a pencil. And this is it. It is very similar to the color that I have on my lips right now. It's a really beautiful high pigment formula um, with a really nice glossy sheen to it. Super comfortable and the color is just incredible. Also, let me swatch this lip liner for you on my hand and you can see they are super similar. Maybe that's why I love them both. But we have glossy form up here and more of a matte form down here. 2017 was the year of the gloss for me. I re-fell in love with lip glosses. I've always loved lip glosses, but then I really got on that matte trend and I can say I'm not really a fan of that trend anymore because glosses are just so beautiful and shiny and they make the lips look so juicy and healthy. I love it so much. And we all know that matte lipsticks can really dry out your lips and they don't look healthy. This just gives such a youthful vibe and I love it. So two incredible um, lip glosses that came out in 2017 are first the Too Faced um, Sweet Peach Cream Creamy Peach Oil Lip Glosses. And my favorite color is Peach Sickle. I have a couple, I have three or four of these. I wanted to get the whole collection, but there was like a really, really vibrant pink that I didn't need and a super vibrant red that I didn't need. I stuck to the more peachy neutral shades and this is definitely my favorite one. Not only do these smell amazing, holy crap. 
They smell like a candy necklace because I believe candy necklaces always had a peach scent to them. That's exactly what this smells like. But the colors are also so beautiful and they just melt into the lips so nicely. Here is peach sickle right down here. For some reason it looks super similar to these but i promise you it's different i think it's just my lights that are doing that but anyways because these are an oil they are super hydrating i like to put a layer on and tap it in so the oil really gets into my lips and it stays there it's so beautiful and luxurious i'm obsessed obsessed with these glosses last gloss i have to share with you and second to last product i have to share with you <sighs> another fenty beauty product this lip gloss changed my view of glitter I always loved glitter on the eyes of course I always hated glitter on the lips I thought it was gross and tacky because I thought it gave way for that um, really gross frosty look but boy was I mistaken yes the, there are those gross frosty lip glosses and lipsticks that I will stay forever away from. Keep that back in the 90s. No, no, no. But this has micro glitter in it and then just a regular gloss. So it doesn't look frosty, it just looks shimmery. It boosts your lips, it makes them look so juicy and so full. So this is the Fenty lip gloss, it's the Cosmic gloss in spacesuit so it's a peachy pink color this is really the only one that have really appealed to me but it is everything so it's kind of got a little bit of a duochrome going on it's up top right there so it's a peach gloss with i'm pretty sure a um pink shimmer and we're talking lots and lots of shimmer let's see if you can see all those flecks of glitter in there it's super fine glitter so it is just like oh the most beautiful thing ever so this made me a fan of glitter on the lips so i've been exploring a lot more lip glosses that have a glitter like this i'm into it Speaking of which, the KKW lip glosses are a favorite of mine. They will definitely be in my January favorites video, just an FYI, because they are very similar to this. They don't really have the pigmentation of that, but they just have a really fine, beautiful, juicy shimmer. Last product I'm going to share with you guys today is a perfume. And this is something that I've also shared a lot on my channel, but I feel like that's how these videos go because we know what we like. This is the Stella Perfume by Stella McCartney. It is so sexy and sophisticated, but not overpowering. It's not one of those scents that's going to give you um, a headache that's super, super floral. It's just, uh, it's so beautiful. As always, I will insert the notes. Uh, oh, I love it. Amazing. Amazing. Okay, so those are all the things that I wanted to share with you. If you noticed, there weren't um, any eyeshadows. <sighs> so, I'm in mourning for my eyelashes. I've already told you guys this, but I did develop a severe reaction to my eyelash extensions. And when I had eyelash extensions, I really loved rocking the look of full, thick lashes with no um, eyeshadow on because it really just enhanced the darkness of the lashes and they, oh, it was so beautiful. So 2017, I barely wore any eyeshadow. And now that I am getting into nicer false lashes, I'm really starting to enjoy eyeshadow again, which is really exciting for me because now I'm being artsy again and playful and I'm just super into it now. But yes, mourning the loss of my lash extensions, but now I get to play 
with color on my eyelids again. So yes, that is why I don't have any eyeshadows in here because I wasn't using them, so I don't really have a favorite. But I will tell you, I'm wearing the White Peach Palette by Too Faced on my eyes right now, and it's looking pretty good. I will review it or put it in a favorites video or something. I will definitely talk about it on my channel so you know the juicy scoop on that. All right, guys, so that is everything that I wanted to share with you. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, and I'll talk to you later, guys. Bye.